Hi, I'm Diane and I'll be discussing two topics which are Understanding by Design or the UBB and Outcome-Based Education or the OBE. What is UBB? Understanding by Design is a curriculum uh, planning framework created for teachers and curriculum writers by Grant Wiggins and Jay McTighe. When we say um, framework, it is a real or conceptual structure intended to serve as a support or guide for the, for the building of something that expands the structure into something useful. An instructional design model that purposely designed curriculum for students' understanding through stages of designs. We have three stages um, of design, which are stage one, desired result, Number, uh, stage two, assessment evidence. Stage three, planning instruction. So when we say desired result, um, it is identifying desired result. The instructor should examine the content standard to be taught and develop instructional objectives. Additionally, it um, as teachers should review the scope and sequence of what is to be taught. So the guiding questions for this one is what should learners be able to do, know, and understand at the end of the instruction? What content should I be teaching as an educator? In, in what order should I be teaching content? And lastly, what long-term understandings are desired at the end of instruction? For stage two, which is assessment evidence, it should begin to think about how we will collect evidence of learning during stage two. This stage often involves the thinking more about how we will provide evidence to students learning and proficiency before deciding how we will teach the knowledge and skills to be taught. So these are the guide, um, guide questions for this one, for this stage rather, stage two. How will I know if learners have achieved the desired result? And what is accept acceptable evidence for the student achievement? So planning instruction are the stage three. Um, it is a uh, desired results and evidence for understanding and it is appropriate to begin a, it is a time that it is appropriate to begin what instructional activities that we will be given to our students. Instructional activities should be um, purposeful in helping to establish early defined instructional goals while leading back to assessment created in stage two. As teachers, should we should consider the learner's prior knowledge and skills when creating instructional ob objectives in order to challenge learn challenge learners while providing scaffolding um, opportunities. This is where we call the where to elements, which um, describes as a framework for best practices when creating learning experiences and instruction. And then the guided, uh, the guide, the guiding questions for this stage three is what knowledge and skills will learners need to effectively perform and achieve the desired result? How can my learning activities that I have selected help my learners gain the knowledge and skills? How should the skills and knowledge be assessed and be coached? And lastly, what materials and resources are needed to meet my instructional goals? And the alignments of these stages develop students' understanding and, and transfer. Why UBD is unique? It is also known as a backward design. It begins with what students will learn. When we say backward um, design, uh, it is a model focuses on learning goals as a result of instruction before planning learning activities and teaching methods. It is important to think about what content to teach and how we would like to teach it. The focus of it is first to be on the desired outcomes of the curriculum. Using this backward design offers a concrete way of communicating learners' expectations. 
creating a clear set of learning expectation using understanding by design. So the uh, UBD also use or they base this um, uh, model to backward design. The goals of UBD, it depends and promote transfer at big ideas. Number two, it contains standards are un the content standards rather are unpacked to promote the alignment of goals in stage one and the appropriate assessment for understanding in stage two. Students' understanding may be assessed through authentic performance um, tasks. For example, for this one is the role playing, project making, performance based tasks, wherein there is a evidence or um, evident results that we can see aside from pen and paper um, um, writing or tests. Number three, teachers as coach. Teachers are coaches and facilitators of learning and design instructions to, to promote meaning making and transfer. Backward planning, number four, is the alignment of three stages. The alignment of three stages are essential in order to achieve the long-term goals. Number five, review and revision. It is um, important to have a regular reviews at curriculum against design standards to enhance curriculum quality and effectiveness. Number six, continuous approach. UBD reflects continuous improvement approach to achieve. Next, let's move on to um, OBE or outcome-based education. What is OBE? OBE refers to, um, also known as standard-based education. It's centered on focal uh, outcome goals, outcome or goals. It is also focuses on our students should reach the goals and outcomes we set for them. The characteristics of OBE. OBE um, has two characteristics. Number one is focus on outcomes. Outcomes may include a range of skills and knowledge that should be concretely measurable. This is where the writing of our learning and um, learning, object, uh, learning outcomes and learning objectives would come into place. Learning objectives should be smart, which is specific, measurable, attainable by the students and result-oriented or relevant and also time-bound. Number two, focus on criteria. Students are assessed against objectives. Students are awarded levels, which indicates that the teacher believes that a student has learned enough of the current material to be able to succeed in the next level of work. For example, for this one is in a math subject, there is a level one. So student A is still on the level one. And once she reach or she has or the student has the enough knowledge on level one of his or her math subject the teacher believes that the student is um awarded to the next level which means the level two in math for example that's what um focus on criteria criteria and obe has three um criteria, which is curriculum, teaching process, and assessment. Sorry, um, curriculum, uh, it sets curriculum with the accordance to the needs of today's students. What does the students need today? What does the student needs, needs need so they can be successful in present day society? In this one, um, we were, um, for example, for this one, for the engineering students, um, you will uh, give an activity for them to create or invent something that could be useful in the future or they can use it in the future. Next criteria is the teaching process. It focuses on helping students reach their goal. Lastly, assessment based on the levels that, that track their learning skills. There are three um, models of OBE. Outcomes are uh, driven the driven developmental model or the ODDM, SPADI model, and then lastly, number three, the Macrel model or the Marzano model. Number one, the 
Outcomes Driven Developmental Model or the ODDM. All schools, uh, all schools program and instructional efforts are designed to have produced specific lasting results in students by the time they leave the school. Number two is the SPADI model. It was said that educators could dramatically improve learning process and their professional effectiveness by consistently, creatively, and simultaneously applying for key operating principles in their schools and classrooms. Four principles that characterize OBE is number one, clarity of focus. Number two, design down and deliver up. Number three, high expectations and expanded opportunities. Lastly, the Macrel model or the Marzano model, it focuses on a scientific, a scientific sorry, behavioral evaluation system based on objective met metrics aligned to specific standards-based strategies. This system created, created reliability for observers and simplifies the evaluation process. That's what, um, that would be all. Thank you, and I hope you learned something from me.